Oh, hello there. I didn't see you come in. Welcome to my Let's Play of Ocarina of Time. The very best game of all time. So let's start our file. Uh, let's name our character something funny, like uh, Dipshit, for instance. Dipshit's pretty funny, right? Okay, Dipshit. Let's begin. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna do the monologue. In a vast, deep forest of Hyrule. Long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. Oh, really? However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Oh, no. Oh, man, he's cold. Having a fairy is the least of his problems. Get that fucking boy a blanket. Jesus. Okay, so now I'm having a premonition of the future events that are about to unfold. As Ganondorf takes over the universe or whatever. Goodbye, Zelda. Oh my god, it's Ganon the dork. Don't fuck with me, Ganon dork. You fuck with me, I'll fuck with you. I'll fuck with you twice as hard. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. Okay, it's the Deku Tree, so I should do like an old man voice. Oh, Navi the fairy! Listen to my words! The words of the Deku Tree! Dost thou sense it? The climate of evil descending upon this realm! Malevolent forces, even now, are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for a boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to a path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the world depends on thee. Okay. I think I will do just that. Fly under this dude's legs. That guy's an asshole, by the way. You'll find out later. Hello. Shut up! Don't talk to me! Okay, if you look to your immediate right, you can see a small elf humping a rock. I guess that's his thing. Oh, hello, are you Link? Uh, I don't think so. Well, bam! Fucking dumb fairy. Yeah, shake it off. Hello, fairy. I like how Link is sleeping with his eyes open. Some people can do that. It's a talent, I guess. Hello, dipshit. Wake up. The great Deku Tree wants you... Wants to talk to you, dipshit. Get up. I don't know why she's an old Mexican lady. Hello. Hey, come on. Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Yeah, call me lazy later when I'm kicking some ass. Kicking some Ganon dork ass. Playing tennis with him and shit. Bitch, what you know about energy tennis? You finally woke up. I am Navi the fairy. The great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. Uh, okay. The Deku Tree summoned you. So let's get going right now. Well, if you insist. It's time to leave our house forever. Never to return. Hello, Saria. I like your song. Did you compose it yourself, or did you have, like, six people compose it for you? Like every modern musician these days. 
Okay, you know how many people it took to compose the song Baby by Justin Bieber? It took like 12 people to compose that shitty song. Uh, you know how many people it took to compose Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen? One of the best songs ever? Uh, it took like one person. One guy did that. I, yeah. Okay, so do an epic bat flip over that fence. Go through the hollowed out log. Oh shit, what's that sound? Better not be any giant boulders around here. I'd be real mad if there was a giant boulder coming at me. Oh shit. Okay. Ugh. Stupid boulders. Rolling around with infinite inertia. Inertia is a property of matter. Boo, boo, boo. I've located the super secret hidden chest that nobody has found up until now somehow. I got the cockery sword. Yay. I'm gonna use this to mercilessly murder people in the very near future. Equipped. So yeah, Ocarina of Time has got to be my favorite game ever, like I said. Um, take solace in the fact that I've beaten it about 12 times, so I'm fairly competent at playing this game. I'm sure some of you will watch this and be like, no, you suck. But yeah, you're probably right. I'm not as good as I think I am. I'm fairly good, though. I mean, I did beat this game with only three hearts once. No fairies or potions or anything. Don't try to take out the bush. Okay, so second order of business after the sword. We must obtain 40 rupees. Which is very, very easy. Go in this house. Open the chest. Get one rupee. Open this chest. Get five rupees. Open this chest. Get five rupees again. For a total of 20. 20 rupees. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, hello, person humping a rock. Uh, do you want help or something? Are you good? You're, you're doing good. I'll just let you be. wonder if he'll still be humping that rock seven years in the future. Probably. No. Okay, so... Little known secret, jumping across these things will yield five rupees. Oh, if you do it right, apparently I fucked up. Yeah, you have to go back in the house and come out for it to reset. I am so competent at playing this game. Let's try that again. There we go. And now we'll get another 5 rupees by going across this bridge. Um, I wouldn't advise going on this bridge if you weigh more than 200 pounds. You'll probably die. Okay. And now our final rupee is a secret to everybody. It's not, it's not a, it's not a secret to me though, I know where it is. You can't fool me. It's a secret to everybody. Okay, so we'll buy, no, don't, come on. Okay, so we'll buy the shield for 40 rupees. I got a thing. G fucking G. Press R, press R, Z targeting, defending, no, put the shieldy, alright, now I'm ready to face the Deku Tree, and the evil spider that lurks inside of him, spoilers, okay, so, next time, we'll talk to this asshole, who has a really weird stance, it must be uncomfortable, looks like he just dumped ass or something. Okay, so, see ya!